this is what your tutorial 5.1 should look like. It's a table and tables are used to lay out data that is structured best uh, in columns and rows as is the case with this radio schedule. You'll want to be very careful that that uh, your columns and rows line up according to what it says in the book. So what I suggest that you do as, you, as you're inputting the information, do one row at a time. At the end of each row, then make sure you you uh, you save the file and view it in the browser to make sure things are are correctly laid out. It's very very easy to make a mistake in laying out a table so you'll want to be careful. One thing that can help you a lot is indenting your tables, your table rows so that so that it's really clear where each row each table row begins and ends and indent the table data items within it, the ta table data and table header items within it. When you check the markup, you'll find that you get the red bar. There's two errors. One is already in the file and that's with H group and H group is obsolete. The second one is one that you actually introduce when you when you do the last part of of tutorial 5.1 and they ask you to add a summary so that uh, people with vis vision impaired people can run programs that will will uh, will read the information about the table for you and that's also considered obsolete in HTML5 it'll still work but uh, it won't pass the validator and instead what they suggest is that you actually put the description inside the table itself or make your table very simple so that you don't have to describe the table. When you validate the CSS and although you're not making changes in the CSS file it's just a good habit to get into anyway, you'll see that the the CSS file that they provide you is is clean. And you'll want to make sure that you include the the links to the the CSS file, make sure you give it the correct name. And that is tutorial 5.1.